So in a shocking turn of events, Tom Wilson got himself in hot water again this week when he, you know, punched Pavel Buchnevich in the back of the head while he's on the ice. Threw a helmetless Artemi Panarin to the ice, not once, but twice, and did it all in a span of under 20 seconds. And the Department of Player Safety came down hard on Wilson with a fine of $5,000. What? That's so shocking because Tom Wilson is the very definition of a repeat offender. So much so, I had to put these controversial hits in the intro because I only have nine spots available in a nine and 90. Okay, not all of these hits you're about to see actually resulted in a suspension, but they all got the attention of the Department of Player Safety because let's face it, Tom Wilson has made a career of putting player safety at risk. So let's do this. Start the clock. Okay, the first time Wilson got into trouble was because of this hit on Braden Shed in 2013. Wilson got ejected from the game, he got a call from the league, but he didn't get suspended. Now, believe it or not, the next four instances all took place in the 2018 playoffs. Round one, game one, the league said the replay couldn't determine if the head was the principal point of contact, so he got away with that one. Round two, he gets his shoulder up on Brian Dumoulin. There is head contact, but again, no suspension. Third time's a charm. This hit broke Zach Austin Reese's jaw and gave him a concussion, and it cost Wilson three games. Watch the head of Austin Reese, let's see. Sure looks like the head to me, dog. Yeah. And finally, Stanley Cup Finals. He hits an unsuspected Jonathan Marcheseau a good 20 minutes after he gets rid of the puck, and the league didn't suspend him. Number four came in the 2017 preseason. He got a two-gamer for this hit on Robert Thomas. And eight days later, yeah, you heard me correctly, eight days later, he runs Sam Blay from behind and gets a four game suspension. Now, earlier this year, Wilson got a seven gamer for this blatant headshot on Brandon Carlo. And that wasn't even the longest suspension of his career. That came in 2018. This one ticked all the boxes. It was a blindside hit. It was a headshot. It was predatory, you name it. And it cost him 20 games.